All right. So in this section, let us see how can we go and automate iOS apps using Appium. Okay. So before that, there are some prerequisites we need to do as part of the installation. And let's complete that first. So let's complete the step by step procedures in our iOS machine. Sorry, in our Mac machine. So that gives you better start to build our Appium test cases. So the first one build the iOS app in local machine for practice. Okay. So I'm switching to my Mac machine. Okay. I connected it um, via remote. So firstly, let's go and download one app which we need to practice. Okay, we will start from there. So you can actually hit UI catalog app github download let's try out with the search and you will get a link like this apple ui catalog app which is specifically designed for appium okay so they have designed one testing app where you can go and practice go to that link and here just download it okay you will get it in zip format so just go and say download zip that's it so this will be in your local mac machine so one thing to say as we are working on ios we should use only mac os okay so we should always use a mac apple so you cannot do all this stuff on windows isn't it you cannot invoke ios apps ios emulators in windows so there is strictly in mac so that's what I mean now. So I have bought that specific Mac server and I'm trying to explain this lectures. All right. So once you download UI catalog app, go to that specific downloaded location. Okay. Let's go to that location. Yeah. So it's downloaded and created a folder called iOS UI catalog master. So open this folder. In this folder, you will see a, fo a file called UI catalog dot Xcode project. Check out a file with Xcode project extension. Okay, so try to open this file. So this file, this UI catalog app opens in our Xcode tool. Okay, I told you right in my initial lectures when I'm dealing with Mac installation, like how to download Xcode. Okay, so to build this app, you need Xcode. So if you do not have that in your machine, just go to your app store and say, and you know, and just type Xcode so that you will get downloaded the latest version of it, Xcode. It's available in the app store. Okay, so here you go. Just download this. That's it. So thereafter, once you download that, and when you try to open this file in that Xcode tool, now the Xcode complete tool will get invoked by deploying this project into that. You see that. So UI catalog project is deployed into this Xcode. Now you have in the Android section, you have deliberately went and created virtual devices, right? So here, the devices are already available for you in Xcode. You need to just choose that. Okay, you need not create one. So what all emulators or what all simulators does it support that everything was provided here. Okay, you need not create anything specific. So you see here, it's saying that UI catalog app. And if you click here and these all are the devices you can use for your practice if you want to test an iphone 5 6 7 se ipad 8 ipad pro it's up to you this app supports all these simulators so let's go with iphone 6 okay so you just need to run this initially build and then run the current scheme okay so it will complete the run so that it deploys and builds that specific app okay and when you hit that automatically iphone 6 simulator will be invoked 
and that specific app will be loaded okay that is your basic you know checkpoint to see whether this app is properly loading in the simulator or not you see that yeah this is the first look of that ui catalog app so you know we just downloaded that github imported into xcode by just double clicking on that xcode project and here we have selected our iphone 6 as a simulator and when you hit a run automatically it opens that iphone and it deploys the app okay so once it deploys and in under the products folder you will find the actual app which you will you are going to use in your code okay so remember in android we used to use dot apk file right in ios we use dot app file okay that file is generated after you hit on this run okay once you download initially from github there is no dot app file there you need to import that into xcode and then run At that time only it creates that specific app extension file which we can use in your rpm test cases to automate and this is the one okay even in real time um, developers just give you that github app okay the ios app you need to import that into xcode and create this under the products folder you will see that app and this is how you can create app from the developer iOS code, isn't it? It's that simple. All right, so let's go back to our Word document. We have successfully built iOS app in our local machine for practice. Right. In the next lecture, let's download Appium Desktop. Let's see what is Appium Desktop and how it helps in our automation. Right. Thank you.